now you guys have been using all semester your eight inch box we now have our two inch okay and this is nice because it's really um already pre-cut it's nice and slim so i'm gonna have you turn around to face that way just you can stay standing though yep it'll be easier for you good just stand perfect and then arms just resting okay so let's talk through shape and size of the tape. So essentially what you're looking at with the SCAP 7 is you're really trying to like hold the scapula in a good position, a supportive position. So what you'll need to identify is the spine of the scapula and that goes there. And then you'll need a longer piece that hugs and supports this um, lateral edge, the inferior angle going toward the thoracic spine, but you're not gonna cross it, okay? Because if he is playing a sport where he needs to flex, and if you've crossed it, he's gonna pop it right off as he flexes and rounds his spine, okay? So that's the first thing you'll need. Now you can use spray, of course, if they're going to be playing with this, I would absolutely suggest that you use the spray, whether it's the Luco tape version or the Kinesio tape version. Now, how this was originally taught was to kind of hold the shoulder out in a little bit of some rotation, just to kind of get the positioning right. Now, ultimately, shoulder issues, scapular issues, you want to get to the bottom of that, right? Like, why are they there? You know, is there dysfunction in the thoracic spine? Are there trigger points like through rhomboid, through teres, infraspinatus? Is there this issue with overdevelopment of or overactivation of upper trap versus lower trap you'll have to get to the bottom of why that's there but if somebody's going into play and they're like i've got scapular pain or this scapula that's winging or that needs some stabilization you have some options now to support them okay so then what you're going to do is take your and notice how like I laid it down, it kind of looks like this number seven. When you go on this side, it's gonna be the reverse seven, okay? So with new people training using this, I end up still getting a seven. And so it's just sort of backwards, right? That's just gonna sort of push everything that direction. So just make sure you've got sort of the mirror image, the reverse seven on that side. And then we're just gonna rip this Luco tape, and what we are going to encourage is a lateral to medial pull. You see how it just like wrinkled just a little under there as I tugged on it? We're just gonna encourage it to kind of come back. This is another tape a lot of people like for postural support um, who have issues with posture. But Again, if you have issues with posture, what's the underlying issue here? So, right, you probably need some, some upper back work, retraining, restrengthening, activate serratus anterior, lower traps. So now here, we're also gonna give it just the tiniest little pull and he should feel like I kind of pulled back on, on him a little bit. And now as he lets go, he should feel like this is just kind of tugging just ever so slightly, giving him this little bit of support. Can you move your arm? Yeah, so he can still move a little, which is good. I always get a little worried it's gonna pop off and I didn't spray him. So um, that's why I get concerned when working with the overhead athlete. Um, I'm just gonna show you if we do it in kinesio tape, remember we always round our edges with kinesio. Now the only issue with kinesio is that you have to accommodate for the amount of stretch that you're gonna put in here. 
So you'll see it's a pretty small. Can you um, do the same thing with your arm over here? Yep. So it's a pretty small piece. Again, just kind of find the spine of the scapula. I definitely would spray a little if, as long as he wasn't allergic to that. I'm gonna give this a little tug. So between 25 and 50% because it's a nice supportive technique. And then I'm gonna go to the corner. Now notice when I overlap my kinesio, it's just a small portion because if I had done it completely here, this would pop right off. Kinesio needs some skin to really attach and anchor down to. So now here, we're just gonna give that a nice 25 to 50%, that little paper off the edge. This you have to now rub to activate and then you can put your arm down. Now, when if you move that arm, I mean, that's much freer, right? The amount of support, right? Especially coming into that horizontal adduction, right? You're probably feeling a little bit of this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have options for back here. This probably feels though a little more supportive, right? Yeah. Now you could pull this closer to 50%, and give him more of that tugging feeling, okay? So you can give a little bit more. It's that 25 to 50, you get to work up towards that, okay? But that's kind of how, um, how these look, okay? So nice technique. And then I'm just gonna take this off.